Welcome back, and the astute among you will have already noticed that we are not in the average workshop today, but we are rather in the sacred space of the average craft area in the average household. And this is the place where we all gather to do our smaller, less power tool intensive projects, uh, sewing projects. This is where I generally will work on Nerf blasters, um, things of that nature. This is where we keep our tapes and glues and, and paints and brushes and all of those kinds of things. And I'm here in this area today because I'm really super excited. The really astute among you will have probably noticed this rather large box sitting here next to me. And let me explain what this is. What this is, is a giveaway that I won actually on the internet. As I often do, there are a few websites that I'm attracted to for things that I like, and I'll enter a giveaway. And usually when I do that, I give away all hope that I'm ever going to win because I'm not really a winner of sweepstakes or giveaways. However, I got an email just last week from a giveaway that I had entered that said I actually won and they wanted my address to ship the things that I had won. And so I sent them my address and lo and behold, the U.S. Postal Service was faithful in its duties to deliver priority mail this rather large box of things that I won in a giveaway from a company called Keybar. Um, I'll take a moment to point out, because it's the thing to do on eBay, that I am not in any way sponsored by Keybar. I am not in any way obligated to give a review or a first impression or anything else for the objects that are in this. They did not give them to me in exchange for any promotion or endorsement. I simply entered a giveaway on their website and my name was drawn at random to win. Uh, so they sent me a lot of things and I want to unbox them for you guys and take a look, give my first impressions. If there are things in there that are warranted, I'll do a little deeper review on those down the road when I've had time to play with them and put them to practice. And so let's get started. I'm going to reset the camera so that uh, we'll be able to better take a look at these things and then we'll get started. Alright, so we got the camera reset, the box cut open, ready to start unboxing our booty, our haul from keybar.com. Um, like I said, I usually don't win things so I'm pretty excited about this. Let's see what's inside. Okay, this is pretty cool. This is uh, yeah, this is a titanium teal coated key bar logo in embossed uh, in the metal there soap tray. Uh, everybody needs a titanium powder coated soap tray. Uh, now I have mine. It also came with a bar of key bar soap. Uh, so it would seem that, man, if you're into the, the key bar concept, you could really get into the key bar lifestyle. Um, that's pretty cool. What I don't know about this soap. Uh, I'll have to check the website and see what it says, but I don't know if it's a sulfate bar soap or if it's made with coconut oil, which is my preference. Um, smells pretty nice, rather manly, kind of um, kind of a mixture of a leather and soft musk. So I the smell the smell appeals to me. Um, so we'll have to we'll have to see more what that's about. Um, Let's see what else is in here. Okay, this is a sign. Uh, and I know this from what it said on the giveaway. This is a hustle sign, so it says hustle in a very stylized manner there. Uh, this is also titanium. Uh, it's either titanium or titanium coated. 
big chunk of titanium if that's what it is but this will look nice on the average workshop wall so look for this in future videos behind me in the workshop that's pretty cool we'll get our hustle on together Okay, yeah, this, uh, I'm pretty excited about this. This is a change catcher tray, a uh, place to just drop your, your keys and your change, uh, the stuff that's in your pocket at the end of the day. It has this leather insert, and oh, there's something under the insert. Oh, nice. Even underneath here is a uh, key bar logo and the American flag. I don't, I don't know if... This is really cute. I don't know if it's going to get picked up on the camera, but uh, the detail in the corner is actually the end of a spent 9mm cartridge, uh, so so that's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, I like that. It looks appears to be machined aluminum or something along those lines. Um, really like that. It's pretty cool. I'll put that to use. Okay, stop the noise, like bring the noise by Public Enemy, one of my family's favorite songs. This seems to be the actual key bar. Um, now this is pretty cool. This is this is what I'm excited about. This is the key bar, a gold-plated titanium limited edition key bar. This was kind of the uh, focus of the giveaway looks pretty nice pretty positive screws there it seems like there are a number of spacers in the form of washers I don't know if that's showing up on camera there or not uh, but that enables you to put your keys in there and then put the spacers in to keep them from moving around and keep everything silent and where it's supposed to be and the key bar if you're not familiar with key bar uh, I've been looking at the at them for a while and it just hasn't been in the budget to get but what the key bar is is imagine like a folding pocket knife for keys instead of blades you would have your keys. So you've got your car key, your key to the backyard shed, uh, key to the workplace, key to the house door, um, all folding into the key bar and then they don't rattle around. It's compact to carry with you, even has a little clip to go on your pocket. So I'm super excited about that and I will definitely in the next few weeks be doing a review uh, video. This is just a, a an unboxing and an initial response but my initial reaction is um, that's pretty cool that's pretty cool I'm excited about it and I will definitely do a review video after I've had some time to use it they also sent me a number of key bar accessories these for the most part are titanium there is a titanium comb which ought to be great for combing the average mustache and keeping that groomed. That's pretty cool. There is a pair of tweezers, also titanium. Those are pretty cool. Kind of a, an upgrade, next level upgrade to the old Swiss Army knife tweezers, the old stamped steel sort of tweezers they hold pretty well you gotta squeeze them pretty tightly but uh, once you squeeze them yeah they, they grab hold and kinda keep hold there uh, so that's pretty cool there's also this uh, carabiner type thing that will go in there and fold out and let you clip that onto a belt loop or zipper or something another key ring something like that so that's pretty neat the bottle opener and screwdriver that's always useful I use these little 
these little portable screwdrivers quite a bit. I usually carry uh, Leatherman and I'm using the little fold-out screwdriver on my Leatherman all the time. But um, this being made of titanium should be nice and sturdy and it, it certainly looks like it will function as a screwdriver if that is any indication. So pretty cool. I'm kind of excited about that. And this this is the one accessory that is not titanium, but it's a USB drive. So how cool is that? It, uh, it's kind of vaguely in the shape of a key. Got the key bar logo on that right there. Um, that will go inside there, fold in, and be able to carry some data around. I am forever carrying a thumb drive, at least one thumb drive, in my pocket uh, all the time. And so I'm excited about that. And that will definitely see some action in the average life. Now this, this, this thing, I'm pretty excited about this. This is definitely fits my aesthetic, as my daughter would say. Uh, this is a revolving revolver cylinder tool holder, desktop tool holder. So, you know, it will hold screwdrivers, but uh, we'll also hold the ballpoint pens. It looks like it should be big enough to uh, let you put a Sharpie marker in there. Spins really nicely. Uh, it's kind of a, a next level fidget spinner, I'm thinking, and that will go great and get some get some uh, definite interest sitting on my desk at the church. And we've got one last thing in here. And this is something that I'm pretty excited about. This was like the big dollar item in the giveaway. And there are two of these. Get out of the way. And what this is, what these are, uh, these are speakers. I saw them in the giveaway and I thought, oh, that's nice. And a couple of Bluetooth speakers. I can always use Bluetooth speakers. We, uh, Where I work, we will often do studies and things outside of our regular building and have presentations. And, and it would be really cool to be able to connect speaker to my computer and and place audio through that and so I'm always looking to do that uh, and so I looked up online and these are actually a little more than your average Bluetooth speaker uh, first thing I noticed here when I opened this up is that there is an Ethernet cable in here now you might be saying why is there an Ethernet cable included with a Bluetooth speaker and that's because this is a little more than your average Bluetooth speaker. This is the, the Sonos. It's by a company called Sonos. And this is the Model 1 uh, smart speaker. So what you can do with this is it has an app and it is Wi-Fi ready. will connect to your Wi-Fi router and it's Alexa enabled actually is supposed to come with Alexa already installed in it very hefty and through an app on your smartphone you can connect this to your Wi-Fi in your home your office wherever that Wi-Fi might be and then through that app you can connect to your Pandora account or your Amazon music account or your Google Play um, library and be able to play your music through Wi-Fi through this speaker. Uh, being Alexa enabled, you should be able, I should be able to, once I get this set up, to do things like say, Alexa, play a particular artist or play a particular song and Alexa, turn the volume up or Alexa, turn the volume down. So that should be pretty cool. Uh, it'll be even cooler if I'm able to configure Alexa with a different name and then I can say something like Big Brother, play Paul Thorne. Um, but, but I haven't got those set up, so we'll have to do that. I'm really excited about these. 
Uh, I was pretty excited about them when I thought they were just a Bluetooth speaker, but when I looked up after being notified that I won, I looked up uh, Sonos One and found out that this is really about a $200 Wi-Fi smart speaker. And uh, so yeah, I'm really excited about that. And once I get those set up, I will definitely be doing a more in-depth review video in the in the coming days or weeks to let you know whether or not the Sonos One is worth 200 of your hard-earned American dollars. Um, but that is the extent of the giveaway items that I won from Keybar. And that is keybar.us, I believe is their website, www.keybar.us. Go check them out. Uh, I am not sponsored by Keybar. They didn't send me this stuff so that I could do a review on it. And I'm in no way obligated to say anything nice about any of this stuff. Uh, however, first impressions, I'm super impressed. All of these things are smooth on the edges um, they don't look like you know they're not going to scratch you or your pocket or your keys uh, the key bar itself the plating is even and consistent and like I said all the edges are broken they're all uh, polished and it looks like real attention was given to the production and assembly of this item even even the hustle sign, uh, you know, where we have the crisp edges on the inside here, not rough, no burrs. Uh, real attention was given to the production of this stuff. So it, it seems to be quality stuff. And, uh, you know, I'll, I'll do a review video after I've had some time to use the key bar system. And I'll do a review video of the Sonos One after I've had time to get those installed and see what they're all about. But um, check out Keybar and see if it might be something that would fit into your life. And you say, man, they've even got the soap so you can just fully get into the Keybar lifestyle. So yeah, that's, that's all I got for you today. If you enjoyed the video, consider giving it a thumbs up down below if there's something you enjoyed about this or a little bit more information that you want to know leave a comment down below I'll answer those to the best of my ability uh, I will put a link to Keybar in the description uh, down there go check them out and see uh, maybe maybe you might enter and win the next giveaway and can post that as a reply video to this one that would be fantastic if you haven't already if you look down there and you see that that subscribe button is red and you haven't subscribed to my channel man I'd sure appreciate having you as part of the community part of the average Joe community and um, that's about it from the sacred space of the average craft area in the average household this is average joe signing off for this time and as always until we meet again keep the faith walk the walk and go with god